I knew a guy once. I had no idea he had AIDS until he passed away. Fred was such a good friend. When we discovered that he was HIV positive, we all abandoned him out of ignorance. Today, I feel so ashamed. I didn't know about HIV. I didn't know anyone infected. I didn't care until a close friend was in and out of hospital. I could not figure out why until he told me he was born with HIV. I used to observe from a distance as Brian was being eliminated in school. His dad had passed away earlier that year. Roma had it that he had lost a battle to AIDS. Everybody thought Brian was infected too. Turned out he was probably the most healthy person in school. I couldn't get Jessica to stop sleeping around the older men. I didn't know how. When she started getting sick constantly, it became harder to get her to test for HIV. She lost the battle to AIDS, and I lost a dear friend. I wasn't born when the AIDS scourge went full throttle, but I was born into the aftermath. And because of AIDS, I can't afford to live like it doesn't exist. I have not known anyone who has died from AIDS, but I have seen the virus in its gory, and I know I have to take better care of myself. And if I can take care of myself, so can you. If I can remain faithful to the love of my life, so can you. If we can only join in this cause. And do our work with multiple sexual partners. If we can speak up about our status. Not just speak up, but speak up against stigma. Abstain. Stay faithful. Speak up against risky sexual behavior. Speak up for safe sex. Only then, only together, shall we get to zero infections. This will be a spillover effect to the whole nation, whereby different communities, different organizations, different companies will um, join us to light candlelights. It's intended for the whole nation to take part in fighting HIV AIDS and uh, upholding the year's um, theme, which is zero infection. Out there somewhere, alone and frightened, all oh, the darkness, the days are long.